Hey guys, I'm S. Dan Wolf. Welcome back to the channel. Wanted to bring you in and show you, which is now live on the workshop. Uh, it's just an insanely fun build that I got in uh, this past Sunday. You're looking at probably, I'd say five and a half, six hours worth of work. This was a very, it was one of those Planet Zoo sessions that I hadn't had in a while where, I mean, you literally sit down and you can't stop. Like, I don't think I went to the bathroom. I just kind of had YouTube going on over on my other monitor. And I, I may have got up once to go refill my drink. But this was just one of those really, really into it, enthralling, uh, just fun builds. And it was one of those builds where, like, once the font was in place, which probably actually took longer than anything that you see, once that font was in place... I knew that like we just had a banger here. I knew that this was going to be a really, really special blueprint. Um, and it's also, I was telling Beyond Drew and Leaf and Lion Rider, this is one of those builds where like Casey, my wife, like she come downstairs and was just doing something behind me or was coming down to get something. And you know that you have something really, really well put together when somebody that doesn't even really play Planet Zoo or knows really anything about Planet Zoo stops and says, did you build that? Like she was walking behind me and just glanced over and she's like, that's awesome. She's like, that looks spot on. She's like, who built that? And I'm like, I, I've been, I just built it. I've been down here for five hours. Uh, she's like, you nerd. And then just went back upstairs. But if any, if any of you guys know me, Animal Kingdom is like my favorite theme park in the whole world. I love it. It's the first park that we visit every time we're in Orlando. And, uh, I was thinking that when you look around, even some of my past work and a lot of the Animal Kingdom work on the workshop, <clears throat> I tend to get lazy with the font design. And I think when you take the time to actually nail this, like when you really say, I'm not going to cheap out with the, you know, just like the, the regular, whatever the big font is. I don't even know the name of it. When you don't, when you tell yourself, I'm not going to cheap out, I'm not going to be lazy about this. And I'm going to do what it takes to make this design look as believable as possible. It just, it's just, I think what transcends these designs to the next level, it's always with planet zoo. It's like you, you get what you get out, what you put in. And when you, when you sometimes when you take that route of you, eat, like I didn't sit down and think, man, this is going to take six hours. Do I really have time for this? When you don't think of it like that and you think like, I'm not going to put a time frame on this. I'm going to get in here and I'm going to try to design the best building rep replication that I can. Time flies. Like I did not realize how quick the, the t time had went by until I kind of started seeing it almost getting dark outside. And I'm like, holy crap, I got to. All right. I got to take a break. I got to I got to step away from this for a minute, but, uh, it was just, it was one of those. So just fun and enthralling builds. And it's a little over 1100 pieces. Uh, like I said, well, 1029 pieces. It is on the workshop right now. And I guess what I'll do is let me show you kind of the difference that I'm talking about. So let me just go to my blueprints. Okay, here we go. So let's just plop this down, right? Y'all. And we will pretend that I never did the hard font. And, oops, whoops, we went too far. Okay. I just want you to look at this a minute. Just let me show you. So you see what we've got. Now, th <laughs> this is about as close as you could get. Maybe the other one is a little smaller, but there it's kind of the goofy font. So you can see the difference between that is what you could have went with or taking the extra time, do the procedure like I'm about to show you. You'll see why it takes so much time. Or like I, I've done in the past, 
lazy out and look, even, even the goofy ones are, are kind of really, really large. Take the lazy way out and do it with the end. See like that. No, no, we're better than that. We can do better than that. Where are the little small guys? Are these the, are these the little guys? Better. A little better, but it just doesn't hit the same, does it? Not, not now that we've been exposed to what it can look like. That's just, the, the in-game letters just aren't going to cut it. That's just, it, it's really wild just to look at that comparison. Like, if I would have just went with that, you guys probably wouldn't have even, probably wouldn't have even batted an eye, you know, like it would not have been that big of a deal. So let me show you kind of how this process come to be. This is a, uh, an old planet coaster, uh, Mike sheets trick. I'm not sure if, if Mike actually came up with it or some of the talent around Mike, um, just because that, I mean, the, the bro nation, just freaking oozes talent. Those, those Planet Coaster guys, absolutely insane. So one of them could have originally pioneered it, but this is basically what you do. You outline a real life image. And I'm just doing this quick. You know, normally I'm like, you, you try to be a little more, little more tedious when you're, you know, building it like for an actual blueprint thank you guys for the blueprint support it almost um it just passed a hundred subscribers earlier today so it'd be really cool to see this at the uh top of the workshop and we'll just i won't even finish this I'll, i just want you to see so we just kind of fill in the little a we'll do a little crappy a while we're just hurrying and Showing you guys. So you just go through that whole thing. And then when you're done, bam, you have some actual font. So, uh, you know, other than that, it is kind of just getting your size right and, you know, scaling it to how, how big you want it to look in game. Now I scaled this kind of in, in, in the nature of, you know, I wanted, I wanted our guests to, uh, to actually, um, seem like it was scaled correctly for them. So if you see, if you take a little shop, see the little guy, this, it might be a little like that. The ceiling may be a little high compared to how it really is in animal kingdom, but not that bad. Like if you are, if he was coming up here to buy a ticket, yeah, see that like the thing is just below his belly button, kind of like right at his waist where he would be stand standing there buying a ticket. So yeah, just, uh, you know, scaling, get you a good picture, commit to it. It's going to take a while, but this is like that, that ending result. I think it just come out really, really killer. Uh, was, you know, was helpful to have the elephant. Most of this design was based on the scale of the elephant because I knew I needed an elephant head. Um, and this is really the, you know, the, the base game, the best, the best looking one we have. If, if, unless you go, uh, piece by piece, uh, we know on the real animal kingdom sign, the trunk actually curls up and the head, the, uh, the elephant head isn't quite as big and pronounced as it is in this one. So, you know, but we made it work. It's believable. The, 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 I'm not totally happy with how the Disney's come out, but that was a little harder just because it was a tiny bit smaller. Um, you come down through here. If you've ever been to Animal Kingdom, you know, like they always usually have all this roped off and you have to enter right here. And um, the, the, the windows that aren't open, they usually have these little uh, adventure Mickey flaps that are down. So like this one would be open. You could walk up to it and the one here on the very end. And then usually they just have little promotional signage in here like Epcot signage or, 
they'll do something for the Magic Kingdom. They'll, they'll do cross park uh, promotions, you know, in the different parks. Um, each of the three little sections has their own fan. Um, right now they just kind of have some little grass in these, but I thought it added to the design a little bit to kind of add these little, uh, I think they call them, um, gum trees in the game. I thought that worked out really, really well. Uh, the back in the real park is kind of simple. This is all, it's kind of like, this is about what you see. It's just a blank wall back here with a door, um, as of right now. And there is some, there are some planters, around the back of the building. From what you can see on Google Earth, uh, there's just looks like there's some aircon units up top. Uh, nothing, nothing major, nothing the guests will ever see. And then of course the sides right here are actually kind of plain too because in the real version, there is another kind of twin building that sits right here. I believe this is the one that has the dragon head uh, above the, uh, kind of like above on the top of its facade. Uh, for, you know, like the, kind of like an ode to, uh, I believe, Beastly Kingdom. And then uh, over here on this side is another matching building that I believe to this day uh, still has a Triceratops head. And then, of course, your main ticket building is the elephant. And then, of course, you've got uh, bathrooms. You have the Animal Kingdom's version of Rainforest Cafe off to your far left. And, uh, yeah, this was just such a fun build guys. And I, I the, you know, the, uh, the facade has some rock work, um, kind of into the wall. So I tried to mimic that a little bit. The, uh, support joists here, uh, these pillars have rock work around the bottom of them. Um, so definitely tried to emulate that. Uh, it was just a lot of, um, a lot of Google Maps, a lot of my own footage and still pictures of when I was down there and doing builds like this. I think it's really going to make me want to go down there next time and do more still picture research. You know, like if anything, just take still pictures of the buildings and of the surroundings. Like I was also doing this, uh, the little Asian uh, bridge, which I don't have any pictures in my own collection. Um, so I was totally having to go off Google to look at Asia. Definitely don't want that to happen again. So when we go back down there, possibly in September, I am going to make a, a whole part of the trip just dedicated to pho photographing and researching some of these buildings and bringing them right back and getting them off my phone and putting them in a file folder on my desktop and just name it like Animal Kingdom Reference. Uh, I'm going to take pictures of the different fencing, of all the different uh, the, the facades, and uh, I think that will really help me when I'm back here and, uh, and, and we're trying to, you know, put this together. Yeah, but try to put these builds together. But yeah, anyways, guys, I know I've kind of jabbered on here. This was just a, a really, really fun, really, really fun Sunday project that I that I really got enamored into. And, uh, you know, if I have time later, too, I was thinking I may remove the Animal Kingdom lettering um, and, and remove the Disney part and maybe leave the, uh, the, the elephant head. And I will put this on there as a generic ticket booth as well, because maybe some of you guys aren't, you know, recreating animal kingdom, but you still like the way the building looks. I will get you a generic version of this as well. So all I'm really going to have to do is kind of, um, try to deselect some of this, which it might be a little tough just because the planet zoo little planet zoo selection thing is kind of wonky. So I don't know how long it'll take me to kind of unselect everything I don't need and get in here and get some of these, um, some of these delete, you know, get these letters, uh, deleted for you. I wish, I kind of built the whole thing around the letters, so it's not like I built the building, then did the letters, and put the letters on the building. Basically, I put these three things up, and I never thought to make this into, like, just a big group, because I was just, you know, rolling with it, and I was just in the flow. So now, to make this generic for you guys, I'm going to have to go in and, 
and kind of meticulously get rid of all the little commas that I use to make those letters. But we'll get in there and do that and get you a nice generic uh, ticket building that a broader audience may be able to use uh, for their zoos, you know, kind of like their zoo entrance areas. But anyways, guys, as always, let me know what you think down below. Subscribe to this and and kind of hop around and look at it for yourself and let me know what you think. And uh, don't forget to give me a rating on the workshop and pump this thing up. And yep, I will catch you guys in the next one.